always will vouch at your service. Don't forget to wear your mask. 7,247 masks and you won't go near the Omicrons. The Omicrons is like, once you get your 17th booster, you get your 17th booster, you'll be fine. Hold on a second, Dr. Weasel Vouch. So if you have 17 boos, bugger boosters, then you're good? Is that is that the the trade-off, the 17 bugger boosters? Exactly. 17 and you're good to go. But what about the people that currently have three? Oh, then you need 14 more. Well, what? You want people to take 14 more? When they're just trying to stay alive now? Exactly. But that's not what you told them for the last two years, Dr. Weasel Faraci. No, but that's anecdotal. No, no, it's not anecdotal. You used to, you literally came out and you were like, if you get it, you won't get it. Wait a second. If you get what, you won't get what? If you got a bugaboo. Wait, wait a second. But if you get a bugaboo, you won't what? You won't get it. Won't get what? You won't get CV. Wait, but you did. Now you know everyone's got a bugaboo and they're also getting CV, right? That's anecdotal. No, it's not anecdotal. All over the news. I see people. Everybody I know. All these people. They got in it. Even where they were bugabooed and they're fully bugabooed. Like, what are we talking about? Anecdotal. No, no. You can't just sing anecdotal and all of a sudden people are good with it. You know, like nobody believes it when you sing it. <laughs> Dr. Weasel Fouch, watch me. No, I don't want to watch you. I don't want to see you do it at all. I don't even like when you speak. You got that Dr. Weasel Froggy thing going on. We're all here. We see it. We could see through your mirage facade situation. Did you say Ahmad Rashad? No, I didn't say Ahmad Rashad. I said Mirage Facade. Rashad Murad? What? Who are you talking about? You're not even... Dr. Weasel Fouch. Get it together, okay? Mirage Facade. Felicia Rashad? What are we talking... Well, how do we get in the Cosby situation? We're to get the jello pudding pop. No, you can't do that. He's looking for something else in the freezer. Hiding it. By Menon. Dr. Weasel Fouch does not support by Menon. What do you wear then? What do you wear then? What do you wear if you're not wearing a by Menon situation? Dr. Weasel Fouch has his own prescription. For what? By Menon. You got a prescription for by Menon? That's, that's pretty cool because I'm trying to see if I can get a sponsorship for by Menon. Good luck. Wait, what do you mean? Why? Are you giving me positive good luck? Like, seriously, you're saying good luck? Are you being a, like a... A Dr. Weasel Jerk situation. Oh, Dr. Weasel Jerk. Oh, okay. I get it. You're being a jerk. No problem. You know, Dr. Weasel Fouch, I've been here doing it, you know, doing it. And you're there. You're saying, you know, we have 57,467 maize. Wait, but when people, how are they going to go out there and, like, eat? Oh, you got to peel them off one by one. What? You want to peel them off? Like, at a, at a dinner party? Exactly. Yeah, but then dinner's cold. Anecdotal. No. How do you know it's anecdotal? You said, what was it, 5,647 max? 5,847. I was off by 200. I'm sorry, Dr. Weasel Fouch. You know, I couldn't really figure out if I had enough. I lost count at 5,215. Well, you got to start over. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. I got to start over? I can't just like start at 2021 50 and just add an extra 800 just to make sure I went over by a few? No, you got to start completely over. You got to keep track. Did you say you have to smoke crack? No, no, Hunter. No. I see. You slipped that one in there. A Hunter situation. Skeet Ulrich. Look, Dr. Weasel Fouch, I think we've had enough of all the lies. You know, like, what I think we're looking for now is just some transparency situation, you know? That's all I give is transparency. <laughs> what? You give a lot of Dr. Fraudchi. Hey, that you do, but not a lot of transparency. A lot of Dr. Weasel Fraudchi. That we get. We see it all the time. If you get it, you won't get it. Yeah, I heard you say that a lot in the last two years. <laughs> if you get it, you won't get it. Dr. Weasel Fouch, I, I want to, Popular Mechanics wants to know, 
So you get four bugaboos, right? You're there, you're doing it, you got a quadruple bugaboo situation. Are you then, like, safe? Hey, yes. No, uh, yeah. Yeah, you're good. Oh, you were good on the quadruple bugaboo? It's, it's anecdotal right now. We haven't had it peer-reviewed. We, so is anything that is you're involved with considered peer-reviewed, but anything that you don't want to read personally is considered anecdotal? Exactly. So wait, how do you consider anything to be science then if it's only your eyes only as I am, as I already doing? Because I am science. We, you're, can you say that one more time? Dr. Froch, he is science. I'm Dr. Weasel Froch. I'm, I'm science. If you didn't know it, I had 7,467 masks. Wait a second. You have me wearing 7,647 masks. I'm out there doing it. I just got to Arby's. You want me to pull up to Arby's and get my, how am I supposed to order through the window? I turn the window to the window. I hit my freaking face in the window with the masks. 7,000, you know how wide 7,647 masks is, Dr. Weasel Fouch? Of course I know. Seven inches, four centimeters and six centimillimeters. What are you, Dr. Joe Biden situation? What? How are you doing math? Billion million? Are you doing a billion million? Oh, it's a billion million millimeters. Is that is that what it is? Yeah, it's anecdotal. We still don't know how math works. We're checking with our superior, Joe Biden. Oh, you're going to Biden for the math. Mm, good luck on that one. You know he uses a calculator that's spelled with a K. There's, there's three Ks in there with, with sleepy poopy pants. Check the records. Look, my Aunt Judy. No, Dr. Weaselfouch, you can't do an impression of Joe Biden. Not allowed. All right, when you get on the air, you tell the people the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help you. Mm. I want to ask you one question, Dr. Weaselfouch. It was the year 2014. You're in front of a audience and you're speaking to them about H1N1. And you're telling them about how today we're not talking about other C viruses. We're not talking about other diseases that have circled the globe. We're talking specifically about these, this gain of funk. Mm. You know, so basically he's saying they do the gain of funk situation. You know what I mean? Like you're gaining the funk. Got that bang, gang, gain of funk. Gain the funk. When you do a gain of funk and you're gaining the funk, like he did, you know, and then he comes out, he's like, look, you're like, why did you do a gain of funk situation? He's like, I didn't do a gain of funk. And they're like, we know you did with freaking P Funk. You were there. You're doing it. Like, was what is there? Is it a brick house? Dr. Weasel Vouch came out and he goes, no, it's a, it's a box of boo house. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. We've got the box. You better get the box. That's what they're doing with Dr. Weasel Fouch. He's out there singing it. You know, I, I protested to that one. I'm like, Dr. Weasel Fouch, you can't go out there, right? And start singing we've got the vax right that's not good we were waiting for james corden to come out with that one next you know like guys look we've got one we're gonna do another song this one's gonna kill we're gonna have everybody out there getting a bugaboo oh great thanks james corden he comes out there he's doing he's like hey i'm gonna put on a face he goes we've got the vox yeah we know you got the vox dude you got a vox how about these Dr. Weaselfest? We've got the vax. We gotta get the vax. Look, we gotta get 17 bugaboos in your arm. And when you do it, you're gonna get sicker. Cause we know that it's what was gonna happen from the beginning. But every scientist and every doctor that told you what was gonna happen, they we just suppressed the friggin' hell out of them, including the Renaissance Man Show. That's what we did. Everybody know. That's what we do with Dr. Weasel Fauci. Everybody know. We got, it's gonna snow this weekend. That's right, on Sunday night. Gonna get a lot of friggin' snow in, in Connecticut. By men and by men, and by the way, guys, I'm going to be touching base with you on Monday. We're doing a deal. I already figured it out. It's been manifested. Renaissance Man Show will have a little by men and situation in the corner. By the way, if anybody knows by men and like personally, you know Tommy by men and I think his name is Tommy. Call Tommy up. All right. In, in fact, you know, I think it's we can do that real quick.
<clears throat> Tommy. Hold on a minute. <clears throat> Tommy. How you doing? It's Mark Pyers. Renaissance man. Yeah, Tommy. Get. Uh. Tommy, look, I appreciate you're a huge fan. Look, I'm here. I'm doing it. And that may actually help me. So I'm looking for a sponsorship deal, okay? Not affiliate situation. I'm looking for straight up pot. I'm here giving you free plugs on a daily. I got people telling me they want to buy a speed stick from me. Yeah. Don't, hold on a second, Tommy. I got a, I got a, a note coming in. Oh, this is this is a crazy one. Tom, Tommy, I'm sorry. That is from Alivo. They want to do a deal with me for their for their deodorant. Yeah. No, it just came through. I know they do like an organic situation. Look, I'm just telling you, I'm giving you a heads up because I gave you the first call. I was like, look, we could do a deal with Tommy. You know, maybe Tommy wants to do a deal with the biomedicine situation. I'll give him a chance. Like, I'm thinking about this, Tommy. We don't do our deal. You're going to be hearing this every single day for the rest of the uh, attorney on Renaissance Man Show. Uh, Levo. Hold on. Guys, <clears throat> they just upped the ante. Yeah. They said I can put a buy in front. Buy a Levo. I'm thinking that's going to be a good thing, you know, where all of a sudden I'm getting paid by a Levo because you weren't willing to do the deal by Menon. So, look, I'm just being honest with you. I gave you a shot. You didn't step up to the plate. They're paying me the big bucks. What are you going to do? All right. No, no, I'm good. I'll wait till tomorrow. You better draft that freaking deal. Because I'll tell you what, if I'm still waiting here tomorrow, you're going to get a peace of mind, a peace of my mind. Oh, guys. I, no, I'm sorry. Look, I'm, I, I, I got to put you on hold for a second. Yeah, no, now you have to wait for me. <laughs> That's right. You're gonna. You're not gonna do a biomedicine situation when I'm. And you want me to wait on a biomedicine? Hold on. I have to speak to to the Renaissance Man fam about this and see if it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You hold tight now. Right, guys. He's gonna try to make me hold. You guys know we got a Hammerlin and Jameson situation, right? Guess what I found? I found my original Hammerlin and Jameson. That's my true son of Freedom Woman. I told you I had to buy a new one because I couldn't find Hammer Jammer, and I told you he's always stuck to something. He was stuck to the, my camera back there. I've got three extra cameras I don't use anymore because now we're just using the other ones. Anyway, little these like uh, computer cameras we stopped using. Double Hammer Jammer. Oh, Tommy. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. They said it's cool. We can continue our negotiation. That's right. No, I want two for the price of one. <laughs> That's right. No, no, I'll take it at the 15th is fine, and it doesn't have to be in the first of the month or anything. But I want it in BB Poo Poo. I'm just kidding. No, no, I want it in, in American dollars. And that's not a, you know, weird word. I want dollars. I want, the, you know, dollar bills. Yeah. No, no Joanne, you can't have any. I pay her doll hairs, Tommy. I'm not, I'm not sure if you know. So she's back there getting a doll hair situation, asking for a raise. What do you think on the deal? We have a deal? By well, look, maybe you're just waiting for me to say it once so you hear it. How about this? Ready? Oh. It was. Okay. No, no, that's good. You, uh, you don't want to. I was going to give you a free one. You know, like Zabrowski doesn't give away his boo hoos, but I was willing to give you a free one. He says he's a huge fan. He already knows how I do the by men. He doesn't need me to do it again. I get it, Tommy. You don't want one. That's good. No, no, that's cool. I, I'm good with that. Whatever, dude. Oh, really? You, know, you, you don't mind? Okay. All right, ready? So just imagine. I'm in the middle. I'm doing it, right? And I finish up. I did my scene. I'm glad we we're all laughing, you know? Or we're all feeling something. The music hit us hard, you know? We're right in a powerful moment. Oh, everybody's feeling inspired, right? You know what I'm saying, Tommy. We're doing it. And all of a sudden, by men and... Yeah! No, I know it sounds like the recording. I'm an impressionist. 
That's what I do, you know? What did you think I was gonna go out with like, he'd be like, bye bacon. No, I do it exactly like the one from the 80s. I was gonna work on getting the in the background with it, like a beatboxer. So it's like, where it sounds like it's a tape, you know, vinyl to, to, that went to, you know, reel to reel down to cassette tape. And then you guys took it from cassette tape to a CD. And then from there, we burned it to MP3 situation. And you still get that cassette sound, you know? Like I, I was gonna try to see if I could work that into the tone. But instead, you're just getting a straight up digital sound of by men. And, and if you don't act on it now, it's gonna be by Alivo. And when I put that freaking Alivo on, I'll find a fragrance that smells good. I know they have like oatmeal crap, it's an organic one. But I'll deal with it, Tommy. Free for life. Yeah, no, no, that's what they're offering me is free for life. Plus a deal, like a you know, they're, you're giving me a salary situation. Every time I say it, they're giving me a bump, and then also you know it's going to be like a a yearly salary just to be on staff, so they can like call me sometimes and be like, hey, you know, can you talk to this guy and tell him buy a Levo just to you know, so they know to buy it. Sure, I'll get on the air and do a little sales deal. You know, we're getting on there, guys. If you heard about a Levo, you'll never want to a Levo yours at home. You know. You don't want to bring one in the car. <laughs> you got an Olivo in the car. So when you're starting to rank it out, you do a little wiper of that oatmeal spread, or whatever the frig they've got that month. A vanilla uh, candle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then they've got the friggin' anti, you know, the, the anti-sport one, whatever they call it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, anti-perspirant. Yeah. That's the one they have it, the antiperspirant situation. No, I'm, I'll deal with oatmeal. I'm just saying, if you don't want to do a deal, this is on you. It's on you when in five years, Renaissance Man's blowing it up, right? And we're all out there and everybody's buying a Levo deodorant because you just weren't ready to act and do a deal. This is when you let the pressure build. I'm not, you don't, you don't speak, okay? First one to speak loses. Yeah, no, I'm still here. Because you haven't said anything back. All right, yeah, no, look, I'm going to sign the deal with Olivo. That's it. No, I got to go now. I'm doing it. My hand is getting cramped already just thinking about it. I want to go, dude. I'm so excited to get this Olivo deal, dude. I'm never going to leave it at Olivo, that oatmeal one at home again. I can't wait to smell it every day for the rest of my life. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. No, I would dare. I don't want freaking Olivo. I was hoping that I could Olivo that one there. You know, are you serious? Let's do the deal. I was hoping you were going to come around. Like, who did you have to talk to about that? I thought you'd be on board. I'm, I'm, it sounds right, right? It feels right. Let's do it. We're shaking hands. Blood brother situation. What's the, what are we talking about, like, deal wise? Like, how much, how much up front? All right, no, three bills is good. No, three bills is good. What about, we're talking about like back end situation. Every single time I say buy Menon, what are we talking about? 1.3 mil? That's good. No, I could do that. So we got 1.3 mil on a buy Menon situation. We got how many bill up front? What was it again? Four bill. George Lucas situation. You know, George Lucas had to create a couple of Star Wars movies like four of them right that's good and all you know but he shot on two that i never liked you know tommy like you don't go out you're ready you're there you're ready to shoot he says right guys quiet on the shit three and you're going like who's ready on two i thought i had to zero three two you know no he does on two george lucas it's jerky I know. But look, he did a, you know, series of films. You may have seen them with um, Mark Walker, um, Luke Mark Walker. 
He was a very good character. And also Mark Vader was another crazy character in the movies. And you don't want to miss it, you know, when you're doing it. And um, it was an interesting time when um, Obi-Mark Kenobi was doing it and he's taking on Mark Vader and they're in the pit. <sighs> Luke, I am no father. And they did that scene, you know. And Luke Mark Walker was out there doing it, you know. It was an interesting time to be able like, to have the force. When you're dealing, you got the force, you know. And everybody else is like, mm, I wish I had the force, like Mark Walker. That was an interesting time in history, right? Yeah. No, I know that George Soros is Palpatine. <laughs> everybody knows that. You're going to try to see if you could school me on, on Palpatine being George Soros? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you back with the right hook. You also know he played Jabba the Hutt, right? I figured you'd know that. That's kind of common knowledge, right? Everybody knows he played, you know, Palpatine and he played Jabba the Hutt. And they saved money on the, all the makeup for Jabba. Yeah, he just typecast situation. They just put a robe on him. I think if they paid like 800 bucks for the robe to wrap around him. And then when they laid him down on his side, you know, the effect was complete. You know, you get those folds and the weird eyes, you know, the froggy eye situation going. And that is a bookie done. You know, you already had the voice down pat. They're like, oh, you know, uh, Jabba needs to sound like, and one guy in the back goes, George Soros? They're like, dead on. Just get a Soros situation, Tommy. Tommy, they got Soros. Soros, Soros comes out. He was a one take guy. One take. He lays down on his side. The only thing that he took many, many takes on was, you know, eating the grapes properly from Leia's hand because he liked the grapes so much because he's a friggin' pig. He just wanted to keep eating and having her, like, continue to feed him like a servant. He liked that, that she was a servant. So he kept doing that wrong. He'd, like, drop them out of his mouth. They'd spill out. And he'd, I need another one. And they're like, okay, Soros, why don't you just freaking eat a grape, <laughs> you know? Soros finally eats a grape. They get that scene done. But everything else, it was a one-take guy. He's in there, you know, on my bookie, done, done, over, you know. Yeah, no, I get it. I, look, that's what I do for you two, one-takers. I'm doing a one-take situation on the by Menon. By Menon. Every time, it's, it's crisp, it's golden, it's clear, the world knows it, they feel it, and they get to, you know, visualize a speed stick situation, you know. Clearing up that stinky smell under the armpit after a run on the, around the track, you know. Or doing other weird things that we may not want to talk about on the air. This is a family broadcast, Tommy, you know. Look, um, I just want you to understand, I'm very much looking forward to being your by menon guy. And when people ask, and they're like, how do I find a guy who's passionate about your product? You say you tune in every freaking night to the Renaissance Man Show, and there's a guy there screaming it out on the daily, doing it, by menon situation. We're lifting people up in the sky with a good smelling armpit right here on the Renaissance Man Show. Bye, men. And... <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. You rock, buddy. Yeah, no. Oh, you're in the chat? I didn't. Hold on. You're in the chat right now? Man, that's awesome. All right, now I'm going to go in here. I'll say goodnight to you. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. We'll take care. Guys, he was with us the whole time. I didn't know you'd been hanging out with him in the chat. Were you guys chatting with him the whole time? And I'm here doing it. I think that he's not, and he's there. He's with you. <sighs> Unfreaking believable, right? Anyway, fam and friends, right it's Mark Pyers. And it's Renaissance Man. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. You got to go away, you got to go away.